Today we're going to look at the ability of hibiscus to prevent cancer. Hibiscus is a perennial flowering plant grown worldwide in tropical and subtropical regions of Asia and Africa. Hibiscus is cultivated for its beautiful flowers, but the leaves, seeds, and roots are used. Hibiscus flowers and seed oils are widely used in food, cosmetics, and the pharmaceutical industry. Hibiscus has wonderful medicinal value and has been used in Indian Ayurveda medicine and the traditional Chinese medicine. Hibiscus is high in polyphenols, compounds that have been shown to possess powerful anti-cancer properties. In vitro test tube studies have found impressive results regarding the potential effects of hibiscus extract's abilities to suppress cancer cells. Hibiscus contains a number of other medicinal compounds. These include anthocyanins, proanthocyanins, flavonoids, and other polyphenols. They also include hibiscus acid and tartaric acid, oxalic acid, malic acid, citric acid, and stearic acid. Many of these are antioxidants and have anti-cancer abilities as well. Cancer is a terrible disease in which some of our body's cells grow uncontrollably and spread to other parts of the body. This uncontrolled growth is very difficult to get rid of. It's a complex process and certain compounds in our foods can inhibit this uncontrollable growth or even kill the cancer cells. In a 2016 study, researchers found that hibiscus extract had the ability to impair cell growth and reduce the spread of both mouth and plasma cell cancers. In another study published in 2015, scientists reported that hibiscus leaf extract prevented human prostate cancer cells from spreading. The hibiscus suppressed the signaling pathway, which then reduced the ability of cancer cells to spread and invade the rest of our body. A 2019 study showed that hibiscus induced cell death in breast cancer cells. In the same study, hibiscus was shown also to enhance chemotherapy treatments such as Taxol, Cisplatin, and Tamoxifen. Hibiscus extract was effective on breast cancer, most notably on generally resistant triple negative breast cancer, while being selective for normal healthy cells. Researchers concluded that hibiscus extract could enhance chemotherapeutic regimens and lead to more effective treatment. In terms of chemotherapy, hibiscus works well with very low doses of chemicals as well as with higher doses. The flower's low toxicity and precise targeting of cancer cells offers immense hope for long-term treatment. Previous studies have shown hibiscus to be effective on prostate cancer, leukemia, gastric cancer, and human squamous cell carcinoma. In a 2015 study published in Taiwan, researchers found that the polyphenols in hibiscus leaves inhibited the growth of melanoma cancer cells without damaging healthy skin cells. Melanoma is a very serious and deadly form of skin cancer. Rates have been rising in the last 20 years. Therefore, the potential of using hibiscus is very promising. Hibiscus tea made from dried parts of the hibiscus plant is deep red in color. 
It has sweet and tart flavors, similar to cranberries, and may be consumed hot or over ice. In addition to the anti-cancer potential of hibiscus, other traditional uses include the treatment of heart disease, soothing sore throats, and treatment of high blood pressure. With such positive antioxidant potential, if you're on medications, it is a good idea to consult your doctor before adding hibiscus to your regular dietary regimen. Therefore, with all of these amazing effects, it makes sense to consume hibiscus tea regularly.